Hey guys, this is iMaster, and I have a GIMP tutorial for you today. I have not had a GIMP tutorial in quite a while, but I have one for you today. Now, this one has quite a few different techniques in it, which include creating brushed metal, making it seamless or tileable, and then saving it as a custom pattern. So let's get started. Keep in mind when you're doing this what you plan the use of this to be for because that affects the size. If you want to use it for say a background for a web page, then you'll probably want to make it larger so it's not as recognizably tileable because even though we're making it seamless, you will still be able to tell that it's being repeated. But for my cases, I'm just going to make it 250 by 250. I do suggest you make it a square just for organization's sake, but it really doesn't matter. So when making the brushed metal, you want to go ahead and pick a gray color. Now the lighter the gray, the lighter the metal, obviously. So I'm going to pick a mid-tone, maybe right there, uh, click OK. And then we can just go ahead and fill this. All right. Then we want to go to filters, noise, HSV noise. GIMP has been running really slow f for me today, so ignore. Uh, forgive me for the slow coming up of Windows. All right. So what we want to do is we want to make the value so that we can see it. Um, that looks good right there. Uh, you can obviously adjust this however you want. If you want to bring it down, bring it up, whatever. But for me, I'll just go ahead and put it right there. Then click OK. And as you can see, it's added it. Then we can come to Filters, uh, Blur, Motion Blur. Again, the windows, for some reason, are taking forever to come up. I really don't know why. Why? All right. We want the angle. I like to put it at like a 45 angle, 45 degree angle. Um, but you can put it at whatever angle you wish. And then the length, you want to make it so that it has a nice brushed look. Like that. That seems pretty good. And then you can click OK. Now obviously, this image wouldn't tile too well. So what we can do is go ahead and go to Filters, Map, Make Seamless. This just makes it so that this will tile well and blend together very easily. Then we can go to File save and there's a special place we have to save this go into your library application support look for GIMP I just saw it. and if you have not yet created a patterns folder go ahead and do that now and go ahead and save it here I'll save it um, let's see brushed metal 2 Okay, um, then dot .pat for pattern, and then you can click save. Again, forgive me for the slow coming up of Windows. Alright, so you can make a description, I'll put uh, brushed metal, save. Once we've saved that, we can go ahead and go to file, uh, new, I'm going to make it 2500 by 2500 and we can go ahead and test this. So to look for your pattern, it, the description's up here. So I can tell that this is the one that I want. If you can't find yours here, you can go ahead and refresh um, to refresh the palette. Then you want to go to your fill, pattern fill, and click. And there we go. We have a nice brushed metal background. And as you can see, you can't see any edges. Um, I don't know if you can even tell that it's there, but that is brushed metal. So th this may give you an idea if you need to make it coarser or not so coarse. Um, but there you go. So in this video, just to recap, we learned how to make brushed metal in GIMP. We learned how to make it seamless or tileable. And we learned how to save a custom pattern. So guys, it's just about it. Thanks for watching. And rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.